best-selling tablet uh, right now uh, by a large margin is this. It, even better than the 10-inch. This is the iPad mini, the 7.9-inch tablet from Apple. Selling like hotcakes. Selling like hotcakes. But there is a new tablet in town that I think is going to start taking uh, some of those sales away. And this is it. A new Google announced it last week. This is the Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, from uh, Google. This is the successor, the 2013 version, the successor to the first Nexus 7. Google uh, has, uh, has it made by Asus. You know, the first one was designed and built in about five months, or five weeks, I think it was, <laughs> very quickly. And Asus has had now a year, and Google's had a year to kind of improve uh, the design of this. And they have done everything right. The first thing that's going to jump out at you on this is this is a 1080p IPS display, 1920 by 1200. That's 323 dots per inch. It's the highest resolution uh, small tablet on the market today. It is just spectacular. And it, uh, you got to see it probably in person because it, it really looks good um, when you, when you, when you get, uh, get images on it, when you get text on it. If I launch the Kindle application, uh, you can see how uh, books look on it. It's just very crisp. No dots visible at all. 323 dots per inch. Apple would call it a, a retina display. Now, uh, I, you're seeing on the video a little strobing. That is not uh, visible on the screen. That is no. just an artifact of the uh, frame rate of the camera versus the frame rate of the Nexus 7. It is rock solid, crystal clear. Uh, it, they've added uh, some cameras. So the original Nexus 7 had this front-facing camera. They've moved it a little over to the right. It's 1.2 megapixels. Nice high-def front-facing camera, and they have added a 5-megapixel back camera. Very good quality camera. This looks great. Uh, I don't know how many times people use tablets to take pictures, but given the size of this tablet, the ease with which you can put it even into a pocket, um, this might be something you'd end up taking a lot of pictures with. And it comes with the traditional uh, uh, jelly bean camera application. Quite good, quite easy to use, quite fast. Um, I, I have to say, uh, you know, you might end up taking more pictures with this because it has a camera. Great battery life on this, too. They put a 3,950 milliamp hour battery in it. That's a big battery. Nine hours of active use. Basically, I've had this now for four days. Charge it up at the beginning of the day overnight, and I don't, I don't plug it in again until I go to bed. It's got great battery life. And I've already ordered a Qi charger because it says wireless charging built in. So you can put it on a, any compatible Qi charger, and it'll just charge up. Pick it up, put it down. They've also added stereo speakers, so left and right speakers with Fraunhofer uh, surround sound. That's something new. Inside, uh, a very fast Snapdragon S4 Pro running at 1.5 gigahertz. That's a quad-core processor. Excellent GPU in here as well. And I'll show you, I'll give you a little uh, taste of uh, the, the GPU by uh, playing a video game. This was one of the games that Google demonstrated uh, when they uh, showed off this tablet uh, last week. This is from Ubisoft. Prince of Persia takes advantage of OpenGL support on here. I think already you can see how great the screen is. Those of you in studio with me can hear how good yeah, this the thing music is sounds. It's loud. Uh, of course, you'll plug in headphones. No, no, no small tablet's going to give you great sound. Uh, but it is, you know, it's stereo sound and so forth. Let's but this is something where you could you could play a song on it and leave it on the on the could. counter. And, you know what and, I do is audio books. It's fine. Yeah. I wish it had front firing uh, speakers. It's too bad it's so dark because you can hardly see how good this is. But uh, we'll we'll get into the light. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight a battle. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna a little busy right now. Uh, You're taking down you know, this, the, this hairy house and yeah. The reason I'm showing this. Oh, you, you. <laughs> I, I oughta. The reason I'm showing this, we're turning up the brightness a little bit so you can see some of the detail, is uh, that this is a very competent gaming device. And I think one of the things uh, the iPad does so well is it's a brilliant gaming device. Now, admittedly, Android doesn't have the variety of games yet, but I think given the quality of this display, the speed of the processor, you're going to start seeing more games on this thing. And it certainly does everything Android does uh, so well. Google Now, of course, is built in. Google Speech... Uh, and so forth. This is the 4.3 version of uh, Jelly Bean, uh, the a Android operating system, which means it has built in the multi-user capability. Uh, and of course, Chromecast is supported by it. So if you run Netflix and you have a Chromecast, you can play stuff from it. I've been playing Google Music like crazy from it. Very snappy. I think you can feel how quickly it loads, how quickly uh, pages go. Let me, let me go to uh, Flipboard, which is a kind of a challenging app uh, because, of course, it's very graphical. And you'll see how quickly I'm able to scroll through images. Wow. And it feels really good. This is a fast, effective uh, uh, 
a small tablet. One of the I, I think the best I've ever used, certainly the best 7-inch I've ever used. Now, uh, one of the things they're doing, this is a 16-gig version. When it comes into your hands, about 12 gigs free. That's one of the nice things about pure vanilla uh, Google Android is it's not very big. It doesn't have a lot of yeah. crap on it. So you've got plenty of space. I think 16 gigs may even be enough for most people unless you're going to put very large files on it. I have my audio, Audible books on it. That's the probably the biggest thing I have on here. And, you know, it's fine. I don't, I don't, I haven't run out of room. I can get two or three, uh, easily two or three books on here. Um, it, it will have 32 gigabyte version soon. And they are going to make, by the way, 16 gigs is 229 bucks. And that's important. 30 bucks more than the original Nexus 7, but you get a whole lot more than 30 bucks more worth of value. Uh, for another 40 bucks, unlike Apple, they don't charge a whole lot more for more storage. You can get the 32 gig for uh, 269. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think that's a great price. That, that's like that's like movie theater prices. I know forty like, bucks. For only forty bucks wow, more, yeah. you can have the large. You can have the large, and they are making an LTE version that'll be one hundred twenty bucks more. And the nice thing about the LTE thirty two gig version is it works everywhere. This is the first we've seen with LTE radios for North America and Europe for Verizon and AT and T all oh. in one device. There'll be a SIM card slot right here. Um, and so that makes it very desirable. Both 32 gig and LTE versions are coming down the road later. I tell you what, I'm pretty happy at 229 with this 16 gig tablet. Uh, you, you know, I got to give you pros and cons. The pros, the best screen ever, 323 dots per inch. It's super fast. Video games are great on it. I kind of bought it, to be honest, to, uh, as a, a dedicated Simpsons tapped out uh, playing uh, machine. And at that price, you could almost do it for that. And it is great. I mean, Simpsons tapped out runs so beautifully, so smoothly on here. The detail is fabulous. You almost feel like you live in Springfield. Built-in GPS, which is also nice. Apple does not put a GPS in its Wi-Fi only models. So you can use the Google Maps, uh, a gyroscope, an accelerometer, compass, ambient light sensor. Uh, it this this is a loaded device. So uh, the pros you get a huge amount for an amazingly low price. A great, very high, highest resolution screen we've seen on this side. All right, I got to find a con. One con. Yeah. One con. They could have made it a little bit smaller. See how big the bezel is on the left and right hand side. Google says they did that so you can hold it and play games like this. <laughs> I, I it, well, it just gives it a funny aspect ratio. It feels a little tall and stretched because it is 16 by nine. And so as a result, I, you know, I maybe I wouldn't have liked, I would have liked these to be a little bit smaller. Imagine if you get the bezel down to just about the size of the screen, this thing would feel like an amazingly tiny thing. It still is pretty tiny. Yeah, uh, I mean, smaller it, than the mini. Yeah, it's small. Okay, now this is something to point out. The uh, Apple stuff is four by three aspect ratio. So you do have more dots on the screen. You don't have, uh, uh, I mean, more, uh, you know, the resolution is, is higher, but it, it's still only 1024 by 768. So uh, we're talking something like 200 dots per inch compared to 320 dots per inch. There's a big difference here. Yeah. So, yeah, you get a little bit more screen size, but you don't get more screen uh, real estate. If you prefer 4.3, of course, you're going to want to stick with Apple. Um, another thing people sometimes mention when they talk about tablets and Android, it used to be that, there, that the lack of tablet apps really hurt. This is back in the days of Honeycomb. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, almost all apps scale perfectly well, even if they're not tablet-oriented. Uh, For instance, I'll show you. Carbon. This is my uh, favorite Twitter app on Android. And when you launch it the first time, they say, oh, we're so sorry. This is not an Android app. We're apo we apologize that it, it, it is not. I mean, it is an Android app. It's not a tablet app. We apologize. It's. It, but we're going to get a ta What do you need? This looks great to me. I don't think this is... Then that's the beauty of it. Android apps scale to fit a variety of arbitrary size screens. I don't think it's really an issue. Maybe it doesn't rotate. Maybe that's the one thing that you'd want in yeah. a tablet app. Most other apps do, including, of course, uh, Jelly Bean rotates just fine. This is fast. It's easy to use. The only negative, big ears. Hey, I, I like a lot of people with big ears. It's not going to stop <laughs> me. I want to say it's a buy at $229. This is a remarkable tablet. What, what, is, what is the biggest uh, upgrade from the last Nexus 7 for you? This from last year's. Like, 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 how is this screen. better? This, screen, this screen, 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 screen. By the way, a point uh, we should make, the Nexus 7 from last year uh, was starting to get sluggish for a lot of people. Me too. It really felt slower and slower. We couldn't figure out what was going on. Google finally explained it when they released the upgrade to 4.3. They built in something called trim into the operating system, which does garbage collection on the uh. Uh, on the SSD. Without it, SSDs do get slower and slower. But you know what? I put uh, the latest Jelly Bean upgrade on my, on my old Nexus 7, and it's just as fast as ever now. It really fixed it. And of course, you won't have that same kind of so lag. So you think between that and the Snapdragon, this will age better than the last Oh, uh, absolutely. Nexus 7. This is a super fast tablet with a gorgeous screen and even if you've never used android i think you'll find that the difference between
between iOS and Android has shrunk to such a small size. Almost all the apps you'd ever want to use are available on Android now, including some apps that are not yet available on iOS, like, well, Google Now is available on iOS, but it doesn't work nearly as no, well as it does no. on Android. So this is a definite buy. An amazing tablet. It just blows me away that what they've able to do for $229. In fact, at this point, I'm going to not only say that people should get this instead of the iPad mini, but there's a lot of people who are looking at inexpensive Windows computers or, or Windows RT computers for three or $400 and say, I can't spend more for a computer. This is what Think you should about it. Think about a tablet. You can get a keyboard for another 100 bucks, and you've got probably a better system than that cheap PC that you might be looking at.